gearing up, gearing up. Serious X apron gear here. Can't make chili con carne without a good apron. <laughs> That's, That's a rule. Science. I read that somewhere. Today's recipe, super fun, super simple. Uh, great March Madness recipe, game day recipe, uh, everyday Tuesday elevated recipe. Chili con carne. Okay, chili con carne. Queso con carne. <laughs> I get chili on the mind. Queso con carne. Uh, we've got the Kamada Joe Classic 2 right now. We're going to stabilize it at about 325. Cast iron pan coming up to temperature. And our good friends at E3 Meats, you know, they do some incredible work with beef out of Kansas, uh, have sent us some really nice ground beef. So we're gonna start to brown that. And in fact, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's jump into this thing. Um, Cause we gotta, we gotta get going, okay? So I'm just gonna slice this open. We're gonna go in with an entire pound of this ground beef and I want to accentuate kind of the southwestern feel of this recipe with some Lane's barbecue seasoning. We're gonna go with chili lime today. Um, super excited to use this. I've never used it in a recipe on film before. It's zesty, it's sweet, it's got a little pow pow, a little kick, you know? Wow. Yeah, little yeah. Wow. Little, little whoa. <laughs> And we'll have an opportunity at the end to taste this and see if it needs a little more. Pa pow! <laughs> a little more of that chili lime. Um, but this is a very informal, elevated recipe. And I'm gonna get a little over here and just kind of toast it. And once I see some, some shimmer there, I'll fold it in. Instead of sitting here uh, really waiting for this thing to start sizzling, what well, is now. Uh, I'm gonna shut the dome just for a couple minutes and let it get hot. We'll shut the dome. We've got the draft door completely open. And now we're gonna open the control tower. Now we could have waited for that, for that pan to come to temperature and then put it in there and had that nice sizzle and really be rolling with this. But we've got other stuff to do, okay? And it's just cooking. You cannot mess this up. This is one of those elevated things that's just super simple. I'm starting to hear it sear now, so we better get to shredding some cheese. Here we go. I was gonna cube this cheese, but I'm gonna go ahead and shred it. It's just gonna make it easier for us to incorporate it uh, to the mix. It'll melt faster. We're gonna get a beautiful texture. Oh yeah. I'm liking what I'm smelling, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And we're just browning this E3 meat ground beef. Got some nice bits of caramelization here. I could go on about how the aromas are absolutely stunning right now. Mm. It smells amazing. You know what I want to do too? Let's like let's throw a little smoke in there. I got a I've got a uh, uh, a hickory chunk. Throw it in the hottest section of our coal pile right there, and we're gonna get pretty much automatic combustion, uh, and we're gonna start seeing some really blue uh, thin smoke. And as we start to put in our our half and half and our our cheeses. Get a nice bit of smoke in here. Three different types of cheeses here, all semi-soft and good for melting. We've got a cheddar, a pepper jack, and a Munster. All right, let's push this aside. We gotta get this onion chopped. And we're gonna add that to our ground beef. All right, let's get this into the pan. I'm liking it. Let's go in with some chopped garlic. Got some pickled jalapeno in there. That feels queso-y, doesn't it? That sounds fun. Yeah. Super informal. Smells amazing already. <laughs> it really does. And we're just flying through this, right? We gotta get this done before the game starts, okay? So. You know, you get the option to buy shredded cheese. I suggest shredding your own. Uh, you get better textures, you get better flavors. 
Oh, sorry. We got cream cheese to add, but we're going to toss all this shredded cheese with a little bit of cornstarch, and that's going to help hold this whole thing together. Tomato's going to bring a little acid uh, and give us a different mouthfeel. It's really nice, and we'll save a little bit for garnish as well, just to have on top. Let's go ahead and kick them in. We're gonna cook this for two more minutes. These tomatoes are bringing the acid and moisture and pulling all that fond on the bottom of this pan into the fold. All right, let's go in with our three cups of heavy cream. Oh no, not heavy cream because heavy cream has got a little too much fat content. We're gonna use half and half. Now it's starting to happen. Once this comes to a nice simmer, we're gonna whip in our cream cheese. It's gonna start to give it some body, and then we'll slowly but surely start to whisk in or spoon in, because we're gonna add flavor with this spoon. This spoon's got magic. We're gonna start whipping in that Munster, that pepper jack, and that cheddar, and just keep on stirring so that it's an emulsified queso, pretty much queso dip, but queso con carne. Let's knock in a little Valentina, the Mexican hot sauce. Wow. That is a great queso con carne right there. Legendary right there. Ah. I like the thickness. Let's go ahead and take it off the heat. You know, and I like that look that we had earlier. So let's work on incorporating the edges real quick. And then we'll garnish this little fiesta in a cast iron. That was a whirlwind of deliciousness, right? Like this is this is crazy good and super simple. This is this is elevated flavor with basic technique, and that's what that's what I love. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a go. Holy cow! Wow, that ground beef is just singing my song right now. Give me one of those tomatoes, yes please. Bit of, bit of that cilantro in my life. Mm, there it is. Nailed it. Nailed it. Simple things done perfectly win every time. Folks, if you enjoyed this recipe, and it was a whirlwind, as much as I'm enjoying eating it right now, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, tag a friend, share it with a neighbor, and, uh, and give it a try. Leave us a comment. From our backyard to yours, happy grilling team.